Welcome to Hawaii. Living in Hawaii is everything you would expect it to be. It's fun, it's exciting, it's expensive. But being somewhere that inspires you is worth every single penny. Plus I just found a coconut. So my plan is pretty simple. You make a film for whatever budget and you finish it. The next film, you add a zero on whatever your last budget was until finally you reach the goal that you want. For me, the goal is to make a $6 million movie by the time I'm 30. By the way, I'm 26 right now. Now let's not kid ourselves. $6 million is a lot of money, especially when it's somebody else's money. I never expected to do that in one leap I knew it was gonna take at least five steps to do it. And here are the first five. Step one, make a $600 short film. I did that four years ago. It was called How to Take a Life. I've never killed a man. Never wanted to. But I'd be a liar to say I doubt I ever will. It was a really grim tale in a really dark setting with really a great team of people. Um, some of which I'm still working with today, actually. Looking at you, Casey, Josh, and I guess John. The next step was to add a zero on the back of that budget and make a feature for $6,000. So I didn't quite do this one. Instead, I did an interactive web series called Pick Your Own Adventure, which is still one of my favorite projects that I've done to date. Not yet. <gasps> I saved you. Okay. It was honestly the best thing that has ever happened to me. Now the third step, which is the step that I'm on now, was to add another zero behind that budget and so make a feature for $60,000. Now that's a big jump going from 6,000 to 60,000, but honestly, it's about the same jump as from going from 600 to 6,000, which means my next two steps are again going to be adding a zero behind the budget and making a feature for that amount. So my next movie is gonna be 600,000, and then the next movie after that is going to be six million. Doing a $600,000 movie after doing this one, I don't think will scare me as much anymore, and I hope that after I do a $600,000 movie, that doing a $6 million movie won't scare me as much. So here's the big secret, is that every single film that I have made has been the hardest film I have ever made. And that's honestly true. The $600 short was tough. We shot for, it was like 18 hours straight. Pick Your Own Adventure was, I mean, beyond hard. I maxed out, no, I won't tell you that. Secondhand Hearts right now is the toughest project that I've ever worked on. It's gone smoother than everything else, but I feel like every single bit, every single thing that I've ever learned is being used, and every single muscle of mine is being stretched. And that's the idea, is that every next step in your career path stretches you, it tries you, it act absolutely works your butt off. I'm completely aware that all of this seems super lofty and super dreamy, but I have very, very big dreams, and I expect to achieve all of them. But not by sitting around and not doing anything, but by trying really, really hard. So, here's to trying.